my name is Ramson, and welcome back to Crypt Master, where I've immediately realized that Joron, you're probably a glutton for punishment, right? Gluton? Glutton. Got him. Joro heals two letters of his name with glutton, so it's feast for one letter and glutton for two. Let's just mark down that Joro has progressed. Excellent. What are we up to now, then? I could teleport to Ulara, which seems like the next thing I should definitely do. Spent a large amount of time uh, deliberately ignoring Ulara, it looks like so far. I hope she hasn't taken notice. <laughs> Less, I hope she's taken offense. I still haven't played the wax cylinder for her. I have to say, in a century that has been remarkably miserly with surprises, it's nice to receive even a small one. I really can't remember the last time I had visitors that I hadn't specifically summoned to dine with me. Do just shuffle back off the rug a little though, will you? You seem to be crumbling slightly, or dripping. I don't really care. I just don't want you on the furnishings. Tell me. Have you been dead long? Exceptional. The fact that you are so intellectually defunct that you cannot respond to a simple yes or no question with one of the only two permissible answers suggests that you are indeed dead. Something I had already inferred from your condition and your unmistakable odor. Also, your clothes which are so many seasons out of fashion that they are in danger of coming back into style. <laughs> now then, it is unfortunate that you can't stay for luncheon, but I am rather in the mood for a little light conversation. What should we discuss? Oh, you know what? I would love to discuss the card game whatever with you. But of course. I warn you, though. I've centuries of experience. Ooh, okay, so head butler. Two E's in that. There's two E's in Steve as well. I would love to see an E. And see an O as well. C and T. There's a reasonable amount of T's. I'll happily take a C and a T. Don't need an M, so definitely don't want the other side of that. Not especially keen on a W. Not especially keen on an F at the moment. <laughs> I'll take six damage. Why not? Oh, hello. I see an O on the board, and I want a strike. Don't especially care about an F, so O with a P next to it will at least give me the ability to get the P in crit, and double O's of Trigu. There's an R, which has been randomly generated by one of the wild letters, which is otherwise going to be kind of difficult for us to get, and R is needed to complete three of these words. I'll take an R and an I. I still unique for the sake of Trigu. Single G will get <laughs> Trigu out on the board now. This is a very tight match. There's no Ys available on the board, so we can't just send Crypt at him. No E's. Sure, an L has come up, but that's my only randomizable slot. Do I really want to throw that away right now? I can do a reasonable amount of damage with the T. Oh, I can certainly do a reasonable amount of damage with the T. Do I care about doing a reasonable amount of damage with the T? I think perhaps I do. A T and an I, at least. We'll do five damage. <laughs> um. Well, that's really unfortunate. I... Let's take a D and a B here, because Head Butler has both D and B in it, and we'll do two damage for each of those. I'm not getting the letters here I'm looking for is the big thing. K 
can I go on with this hand? Or do I need to pitch it? There is an S available on the board, an S with a U as well. S is useful for Steve, U is useful for Butler. I'll take it. A V oh. has come up, which would give us, you know, Steve being one letter away from completion. But Trigu is one letter away from completion. Crit is one letter away from completion. It really feels like I just need to pitch this hand and look for a hand that has <laughs> any of those letters. There's a G. There's a G in this one. Oof. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I won? What a lovely surprise. Now then. It is unfortunate that you can't stay for luncheon, but I am rather in the mood for a little light conversation. What should we discuss? So it looks like the card game whatever got a lot faster with the inclusion of two damage cards in the deck, so each of the instances of a single letter doing damage is doing two damage when it's applied by a certain two damage card, like Head Butler, uh, which the enemy obviously had a lot of there. Zealot also, I think, was two damage for them. Um, I, I need your card is the thing though, so I can't really leave until I win it from you. But I'm gonna leave this conversation. So and then I'm going to go and check out my deck for a second. So let's get as many of these two damage cards in my deck as possible and as many others out of the deck. Gogo I really like because Gogo only needs two letters and it needs two letters that are quite common for me to want to perform anyway. King? You know what? No, you don't need to be in there. Uh, Crypt? Adding base damage to the cards in my hand? You have so many unique letters and you do very little damage yourself. Randomize the letter line with I. That sounds great. Steve, you're actually garbage. I don't know why I included you in the first place, but... Alright. And that's our deck created. It is charming to... As it happens, I do have time for a hand. Well, well, well. The letter G is well catered for here. Uh, I want to keep as many of the wilds as possible. I'd love to use letters G and O and P. Oh, let's take P and I for Viper. That was a touch on sporting. Was it? Seven damage, touch on sporting? <laughs> an E and an R would get the Piper off the board, obviously. I can take an E and an S. Snake gets two hits, Piper gets one. I'm set up to only need an R for Piper to complete. I see, so Snake is what Ulara would have put into my deck. It's doing damage to her right now, but if I complete the word, it'll deal damage to me. Ugh. Still gonna need the letter O pretty badly here. I'll take the G's off the board while I get them though. There's an R, giving us the ability to send Piper out on the board. Which will give us also three more <laughs> wild letters. Still none of them are the letter O. Piper is back <laughs> in hand. I'd love to get a letter O one of these days. Not even a letter T. Wow. I almost want to pitch this hand. The thing is, half of the hand pitches itself at the end of the turn anyway. So I should really just do the four damage that I can get out there with a G. <laughs> There's an O. There is a single O. Not even a wild letter. In fact, it makes me use a Z as a wild letter. Gogo loads an additional monster for us here. Give us head butler, and Gogo is back. 
G is between two Q's. If one of those Q's was an O, oh, baby. So happy about it. I'm going to go for B and E here. I'm just burning damage. There's an that was a touch snake, sporting. there's one in sniper, there's three in head butler. That oh, actually kills you. Oh, you won. Yes, well done, well done. I didn't know I had lethal there. Instinctually, I did though. All right, Ulara. Deal damage equal to the number of cards in your hand. Hmm. I do like the idea of having a deck that loads additional monsters constantly and is good at doing that. That would be a fun way to play. Try good, let's get you out of the deck. I don't think you are good. Oh, Snake! I don't- why? I put Snake in the deck actively? Myself? I'm gonna play this wax cylinder. King Vice is the name. I'm the first in my line, and yeah. I'ma burn your ears like turpentine. Woo. So pretty now, madam, come listen to my song. It might be savage, but it won't be wrong. My loot's more ruthless than a ballista. Let me hit you with a steel tip rhyme now, sister. You've got to give me credit. I'm so versatile. We could have been friends, but you're just so vile. Oh. I've heard it said you're an aristocrat. Get a grip, missus. I know you better than that. You can't marry a count and act like you're grand. You only married him for agricultural rack. Let's conclude this feud. Let's finish this dance. I'm sure you will agree that you never had a chance. So please accept this as my final word. Scratch away your polish and you're still a turd. Oh! Um, I'm afraid to tell you that you have been served and you'll be expected in court on Tuesday. Was this hideous ditty intended to shock me? The compositions of that obscene little commoner have no more power over me than the ridiculous flute he tootles. I wouldn't even dignify this one with a response. Greetings. Just greetings? Why don't you tell us about Vitus? Horrendous little minstrel. I'd as soon discuss the contents of an ogre's privy. Why don't you tell us about that crypt master, though? What about a crypt master? Am I supposed to know who that is? They don't sound like the sort of person who would have mixed in the same circles as me. What do you know about Joro? The warrior of legend. What a wonderful slab of meat he must have been. They say he could carry a horse for a hundred leagues, which seems a rather contrary way to travel. <laughs> How do you know about Sin, though? I've always rather admired her. They say she once hated a man so much that she had Aldo resurrect him just so she could kill him again. <laughs> Delightful. Max? Oh, the bard of yore, the golden tongue, he of the silver strings. I confess a weakness for his verse. Untutored, of course, but rich with primitive pleasure and earthy delight. And it's in couplets, which I love. Well, 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 you bear an affection. What about Nyx? The sea witch? There have always been rumours that our family line is descended in some way from one of her dalliances. Of course, she was rather profligate, so it's not easy to unpick that particular web. I'm not so certain what I want to ask you about is the thing. Uh, what about Pantry Below Ground? Pantry. Quite charming. I chose this area for my residence, now the entire region is mine. Shore to sunken shore. Give or take a few stubborn islands. What about the city above? I don't want to talk about that. So what about above? No, we're not. Um, Laura, why don't you tell me about yourself? A lady doesn't discuss herself. I'm not a topic. No, Kidogi? The weather, then? Hmm. They say it might brighten later. Really? This far under the earth? Well, I guess there's small, uh, you know, the, the, the miniature ecosystems and climate systems down here as well. It's, it's, fair enough. Uh, ecosystem. Yeah, tell me more. Um, 
I don't know what I want to know about you. Tell me about the mirrors. I don't want to talk about that. Okay. Why don't you tell me about live, laugh, love? That has no interest for... Why'd you paint it on your goddamn wall then? Farewell for now. Gotta fool me! I've never really looked up. I should keep in mind that that is one of our action verbs in this game, that I can just look up at any time. So I already, I already went back to Vitus without playing this for her, and Vitus regarded me as though I had, but let's see if Vitus has any new lines now that I actually, actually, actually have. Greetings, friends. Do you fancy a hand of cards, or is there something else on your minds? Uh, Lara. Countess? Yes, I'm sure. Hey, check this out. I'll blow your mind with my flugelhorn. You better get ready, cause I'm... Uh, oh, flugelhorn? What can I do with that? Never mind. I suppose I'll leave. Actually, do you know anything about me? Why don't you tell me about me? Jorto. Joro? Oh, quite. Quite. Warn your ear. <laughs> Wrap your ears around this. Ahem. I wouldn't court you for gold or for silver. Everybody knows that you... Anyway. Mm, yeah. I'm gonna leave you be, buddy, because it seems no. like you're just using whatever I say as a very loose stim word mm. for a bad set of couplets. Hey. Who's beatboxing? Who's beatboxing? You beatboxing? Mast? God, you look creepy. <sighs> All right. So, Lara's overlooking pantry at the moment. Do I have a note that's telling me this is something it wants me to do at the moment? Lonely hearts, little bride, there's whatever. Because I know that I was meant to do this, and then I did that. Did it give me any results, though? How you doing? Yeah, you did. Uh, sorry, I had to speak to my friend in a familiar voice for them. Attention to these bone houses. I mean, I don't think I need to go too far down, is the thing, right? So, been to the tower, been to Alara. The sea caves near Pantry are already cleared out. I'm going back to Pantry. I'm gonna ask this skull for advice. What do you think I should do, buddy? Welcome. Welcome. I've been expecting you. Give me 20 fresh souls and I'll peek beyond the veil for you. Is that a deal? Yep. Good. Now, hold still while I attune myself to your energies. I feel that you're the sort of person who can be a very loyal friend, uh -huh. but that you don't always suffer fools gladly. Oh, now I'm getting a letter. It's the letter... Oh, oh now what is it? Oh, I'm paying him for a letter that he might reveal for us, I assume, here. Okay, so we've had O, A, E, B, L, S, and V. Uh, seems like T would be a good choice. T, yes, of course. It's coming through very strongly now. 
I am going to leave you with this letter and let you find your own way. Mm. I'm not especially eager in buying letters like that, especially when I can just go and bomb them very effectively. Sure, that will allow me to get very specific letters, which does have a value. But I don't think I need it. So if there's caves, tower, market, we've been to the market. I don't think I have enough to buy the last thing in the market. Yes, the girl Matha card. There's no continuation for the end. Oh. We already had Squibbles saved. No. There's nothing new out here. No. I away. am a little confused. Where does the path branch that I haven't realized? It's it's got to be in the sea caves, right? The only other place that it could be, to my mind at least. Yeah, but this also ends. Whoa, you have a big name, my friend! Uh. Jagaraka. Ladder punish for L's, yeah it is. Oh man. Alright, I'm gonna try and keep booting you down, I think. Oh no, flip and pinch, flip and pinch. is quite nice to check out. A very useful letter if you have it, and if you don't, it rules out a huge amount of words. Very happy to pick that up. Let's go for Stitch. And then Sync is done. All right. Joram, keep your secrets. Oh. There's a puzzle here to solve. I am so glad I came back here. All right, 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 all right. Now I should have the tools to be able to solve this. So I know from my previous exploration some of these letters. Uh, okay, I don't know that one. I don't know that one. That one. Uh, A is the second last letter. Uh, oh boy. And O is the second letter. Alright then, let's get to work on solving this one. I hope this one doesn't just say live, laugh, love again. I don't think there's enough characters to do that, but I've been traumatized. Right. Let's 
O first. trying to think if anything immediately comes to mind that would fit that form of word. It does not. I know where to go back to now as well, thankfully. So I can get the keep out sign. Uh, in the market. Not in the market. I immediately forgot where it actually is. That's fine, that's fine. There's an outside gogo. Palace. Outside the palace, we had the word palace. Let's see if this gives us anything. I think I saw that. Uh, previous character in there. And uh, no. So yes, that's an A. L, not relevant. That's not relevant. That's not relevant. Dang. Alright. Palace, not helpful. Let's go for pools. And then if I step out of this room, maybe there'll be a sign on the other side that says pools. Pools this way, giddy up. That'd be a lot of letters, I'd love to see it. I am more and more feeling like that is not going to be the case. Please don't tell me I just have to walk around until I remember where the other things were. I don't want to do that. Please don't make me. There was a keep off sign somewhere around here as well. Um, Lara's ruling from up there. There's the tower, the ancient tombs, the bone house. Let's try that. Ah, oh, there we go. Danger. That's nice. Well, I mean, not danger, but just knowing a new word. Uh,. Oh, okay, N. N is the third last letter. Oh, and R. R is... R is the third letter. So, okay, we have space, O-R-N-A. O R N A. I should be able to figure it out from there. It feels like it should end in ornal, but like mornal, bornal, nornal, vornal, cornal. None of that seems right. Mornal, cornal. Journal? Nope. Fornal, gornal, fornal, donal, sonal. Tonal, yonal, ronal. Okay, so it doesn't end in that. Which means that the letter it ends in is more difficult to figure out, which means I'm gonna have to go and find some additional information in the environment again. <laughs> Far side of the broken bridge. Surely this is where you would have some sort of official signage. Also, I don't know what's so broken about this bridge. I walked across the whole thing in a single trip. Translation either. Again, I was so certain. 
I was so certain I was just gonna wander out and immediately just find all the signs that I remember from before. But nope, that's not how it went. You know, the most frustrating thing here is because I'm looking for two very specific letters, even if I do find another sign, uh, it's like an 80% chance it's irrelevant. I am starting to very much get the feeling that I want to do this off camera, uh, largely for your sake. But also, the way in which the last episode ended really makes me feel like there's a payoff at the end somewhere, as long as I last, as long as I'm good. Tried CKs near Pantry. Ancient tombs in the bone house. I tried that. I tell the tower. Let's just go direct to the bone houses. This way goes out to an altar. That's literally where we just came from. The one that leads to the swamps has to have some individual signage. So many areas. Oh! Do not Mr. Welcome. James, the head butlers are down here now. Interesting. Mysticism, perhaps for sin. Let's go for a. You're a gang of unholy terrors. You don't go around doing odd jobs. Crooked man was rumored to possess occult powers. The chief reason for this was that he did, in fact, possess occult powers. Good reason to have that suspected of you. Best reason, in fact. Bog blank. So it seems like they do intend for you possibly to come back to earlier areas because they specifically increased the power of the enemies here. at all like that. I'm very intrigued to see where that continues to go. I uh, can't really read well in the dark, so I have to imagine there's probably not going to be many signs here. I'm invited! Sir Tafo, I was not intending to fight you, friend. Sir Tom, 
Well, I'll take that eye. Nope. Still not there on Maz. Look, there's an official drawbridge. How do you not have a sign beside that? I'm going mad. I feel like it's gonna be an instruction that I need to do it that well in order to get cool thing item, right? Maybe solve future quest. I think, for the sake of time, I am going to take an opportunity here to pause and explore the terrain so that I can try and find some more of those and then come back in next episode with a solution. This is me looking at 35 minutes and recognizing that I've spent the last 10 looking for these. For the moment, my name is Rhapsody the name of the game. It's been Cryptmaster. Top left is a series playlist for all my content of the game, past, present, and future. YouTube recommendations down below. Stream past the names of the people now. So, <laughs> generously supporting the Republic on Patreon.com slash Rhapsody Plays at or above the thanked tier. And a special thanks this episode to as soon as the names get down there, I'll be able to say, because I didn't hit the button at the right time, Tristan. Hopefully you'll have been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you all next time. <laughs>